Kara. Welcome to my craft room. I had a Venice. Well, I have a nephew and his wife, and they're getting ready to have a baby, and she had a shower, and it was cactus thing. So I was like, oh man, I've been making all these Cricut Papa cards, but they don't really have a cute anything for cactus. And I've got her cactus card. I'm going to load it up soon, but it, it's more baby themed. So I thought, hmm, what can I make? Because what I did was I took the pineapple pop-up card and made it into a cactus. And I thought it would be fun. This would be for a guy if you wanted. I know guy cards are really hard. I have all men here, so I know. Um, so I did this and it says looking sharp. And if you can see, it's got a frame here, but it's all the same color because I'm, I mostly wanted it for the texture, you know, and the interest. And then what you cannot see in the thumbnail is that there's actually a texture on this. In the program on Cricut, it's actually pen that's, that's doing the design but I just changed that over to score instead of pen. And so it gives us a little, even a little bit more interest in the background. Okay, and then I changed the pineapple to a cactus. So let's see, like that. Look, look how fun that is. See? So now you can do a cactus pop-up card. And of course you can change the words on the front to anything you want. You, they even have some really cute, like, Christmas cactus um, on the Cricut program. So you could even do Merry Christmas and put some Christmas cactus up there. You can do Happy Birthday, Happy Anniversary, Happy Father's Day. So you can do anything here. Or you can just add it to in the inside. So let's go make it. Okay, here we are on the front page of Cricut. Now, all of these pop-up cards, and I've made a bunch of them, are going to be um, in this section. They're not gonna be in the image section. So first we're gonna do pop-up cards, as you can see. And they're all gonna come up. And what we're using is the pineapple pop-up card, but we're gonna make it into a cactus. And I've done a lot of these, um, by the end, all I've done all of them. So if you're looking for more instructions, you can check them. Check out my um, my page. You're going to hit customize, and now it's on um, your canvas here. Now I'm not going to show you how to make the the uh, envelope because that's really easy. So let's get rid of that. We aren't going to need any of. We're, we're going to need to ungroup all of this. And we're not going to need any of these guys. So I'm going to pull them out over here. And I'm going to show you how to do it all at once. You put your finger up in the uh, uh, above and to the left of it. And you drag your finger across or your mouse. Pick all of them and hit delete. Okay. Then this, these two are going to be, and it just depends on what color you want. You can pick any color you like. I wanted the front and the background to be neutral and the cactuses, cacti, to be the front and center of the card. So for these I did, you're gonna go here and then you're gonna go down here to edit. See where it says basic cut and it shows yellow? You're gonna go up here. And I did kind of an off white. So I'm gonna do right here, but I'm gonna pull this over so it's real light. And then you hit apply. Okay, see how that changed? Now, once I do that and I go back in for this other side, it's up there. These are all the colors that are, are currently you're using up here at the top in this front row, on this top row. And I'm going to change it to that. Okay, and then hit apply. So there we go. Now, I should be able to do the exact, we're going to keep all of this dark blue. I should be able to do with all these also. Let's see if they'll let me do it. Nope. No, it should. There we go. And it doesn't matter which green I have. You can see on here there's a light, a medium, and a dark. These I made the medium color. There we go, just like that. See, easy and fast. I'll put this back up where it went, and I'm gonna put these back over. When you're on the iPad, it's harder to drag um, everything and, and but since this this is all this um this part of the cactus here, it's all just cutting. 
Now, if it had a score line or a print line, you'd have to do it differently, and I will show you that. So now we've got all of those colors fixed. Now we're going to add our um, we're going to add all of our other images that we need to make this card. I'm going to show you how to do the first one, and then I am going to put the list of all the images you need up on the screen. I'm going to fast forward it get all my images on there, let you pause it, use the list, get all of your images onto the canvas, okay? And then we'll come back and I will we'll change the sizes and colors and what else we need. You don't need to watch me look up every single one of these um, images. So first, let me do the first one. All images um, in Cricut start with a hashtag and a capital M. The, the cover, we'll do the cover first, and the, the background square is 2911F311, F311. Okay, there you go. So you're gonna click on that, and you see down here at the bottom next to insert, it inserts in there. You're gonna do that with all of the images, and then you're gonna hit insert, and it's gonna put you put it on your canvas. So right now I'm gonna fast forward through all of this. Here's your list. You're gonna have your list here in just a second. I want you to put all of those images onto your canvas, and then I will meet you there, and we'll get all of this cut up. Okay, here we go. We've got everything on our canvas. I'm going to give you all your measurements and your colors. Let's move this little guy down here where we can see. This is your background for your for the front of the card. I change these are written lines. I changed them to score lines because I really wanted the pattern more than I wanted all the lines, but that is your choice. So first, since this has um, draw lines on it, you you see when we hit edit, and if we wanna change the color, we go over here where it says multiple, but it's not gonna let us do that. That's because it's got um, score lines on it. So we're gonna go into layers, and if it or printing line. If you wanna change this to printing line, you can do that too, and use a pen instead of, uh, which is right here, and you can change that to whatever color that you'd like. Right now, it's black, but you can change that. But what I did was instead, first I highlighted this and went to edit. Oops, edit, come on edit, there you go. And see where it says pen down here? We're gonna click on that, and then I changed it to score. Okay, and then I push apply. Now you see all those lines are dotted. And that's exactly what, what I did. And then you're going to highlight the actual paper. And you can see down here where it says the basic cut and has white. We wanted that same tan color as, as, the, as we did the inside of the card. So there you go, there. And now we are going to size it. We still on edit. You see down here next to where we change the color, there's a little two numbers with a lock in between. 
Okay, the lock means if we change the width, then the height is going to be the same. It's still gonna be a square. See how this is a square? Let me bring this down here. We don't need layers anymore, so I can show you. But we don't want it to be a square. We want it more this shape right here, okay? So in order to do that, we're gonna to have to hit the unlock button. And it is gonna be six and a half. The height is gonna be 6.5. So. Oh, sorry, the height is going to be 6.5, 6.5, there you go, and the width is going to be 4.5, there, just like that, okay, there you go, and again, if you wanted to keep that pen as the pen marks, then go for it, okay, now your three cactus, let's do those real quick, those are for the front, We'll, we'll worry about changing their colors here in a minute right now. First, we've got to relock that. You see that? You see how I'm unlocking it and relocking it right there where it says between the width and the height? That's because we don't want it to change both. We just want to change one. Okay, this large cactus is going to be 1.6 width. Whoops, wrong side. The first one, 1.6. There we go. Here, I'll, I'll bring these up so that they're easier to see because they're little. And this is a great way to use your um, all your scraps, okay? Then this one here is going to be 1.4 width, which is your first number, 1.4. There you go. See, and that's going to go right here. And then this guy, he is way too big right now. He's only going to be one inch width. There we go, okay. Now, let's put all these together. Those are all gonna go on our front. And now we need to do both of these. Oops. <laughs> if you ever do something, um, they just changed all this. All these, all this, where they put the delete down here and all that stuff, and I'm still not real used to it. So I always highlight it and then move it, which is what you used to do, but now you don't wanna do that anymore. So here's your frame on the front. The height of this, let's go back to edit, and the height is going to be three. And look, it's already three, so we're good, okay? And the looking sharp, the height is going to be one inch. One inch, there we go. Now, okay, we've just about got everything except we're gonna change this to that same blue we're using, the looking sharp, and we're gonna change this to the back to the tan to match everything else. Now, you know, you don't have to change it to tan, but my thing is I wanted it just for the texture and didn't want it to make it too stand outy. I don't know how to uh, make it too busy because I really wanted you to see the words and the cacti, okay? Now, the only other thing we need to is a background for this. To, to glue our letters on because we don't want the, the texture showing through or, or the pen marks if you leave it at pen marks. So we're gonna go down here to shapes. See it's on this bottom over here next to actions and we're gonna hit square. So right now that square, uh-oh, did I not write that down here? Let's see, no, I didn't, I didn't write it down. What we wanna do is we wanna cover behind this frame. So I'm gonna, make it bigger here so I can see. So we want, we're gonna go back here to edit. We're gonna unlock it again. We're gonna do this square two and a half inches high and 1.7 inches wide. Just like that, there we go. And we wanna change that color. So here next to where we just changed all the height, we're gonna change it to that same tan color. Okay, and then hit apply. There you go. Now, if you really want to see what it looks like, you go, we're still on edit. Go down here to arrange right here and go send it back. There you go. There's your frame. Here's your looking sharp. Let me just show you this real quick because we are done here. And then here's your cacti. Oh, wait, we're not done. We need to change these colors real quick. Okay, just like that. And there's your cover. Oh, in here. I'll put this behind it. Even though it's gotten into the... Okay. Let's change these cactus colors. And then we'll do these flowers that go on the top of the cactus here and just the pop-up cactus here in just a minute. So I'm gonna, whoa, 
<laughs> whenever that does you, uh, whenever you do something like that, you just hit the undo button. Okay, let's put these right here where we can see them. I'm gonna make them bigger. And then for these, the easiest thing to do is go into layers. Okay. Now, see how this, this is the background to the, to the big cactus there on the left. Um, I like it being brown like that. Okay, the background. So I'm going to make all the backgrounds on these the brown, dark brown. Mm, let's see where the barrel one is. Here it is. Ah, see how this color is dark brown? That's good. We're going to leave it that. And I am going to change the this background. I'm going to go back to edit, up to colors. We're going to change it to the dark brown. We want to make sure everything is all the same color. Okay. And, and then the background of the other little one, we're going to change it to the dark brown. I will tend to have all of my colors the exact same colors. I like the way that they all m match together. And I also like, it's less papers I've got to load onto the mats to cut. So here is the pot for the big one. We are gonna make that the dark blue that we're already using, okay? Then we are, this, um, this light blue line right here, we're gonna make it the dark blue that we're using okay and this squiggly line on this other barrel cactus right here see right there this one in the middle see right here okay we are going to make it the dark blue okay dark blue there we go then the this pot we're going to make it red just because i like red to the the way it looks here i'm going to go to edit and you can choose whatever you would like. I like the dark red. Okay. So, and I'm going to make the colors, I mean the, uh, not colors, the flowers, the dark red. There we go. And I'm going to change the green of the cactus here in just a minute. Let me get all of these other pot colors done. On this guy, the brown pot, I picked a light yellow. You can pick whatever you'd like. You can even make it the same tan color right here if you want. But I wanted it to stick out just a little bit. And then this, the stripe on the big, I made that the light yellow also. The light yellow, there you go. Just like that. Now, all, everything is done except for the basic colors of the cacti. This one, I kept the really light green. So let's see what I've got up here. Let's make that the light green. This one, I made the medium green, which was is the same that I made the cactus. Okay, so let's go to it. There we go. Here's the green part. You gotta have it highlighted in gray. And it's the bright green, that, the medium green I used. Okay, there you go. And this one is the dark green. So let's go up here. Let's pick just the cactus. We're gonna go back to edit, back to the colors. Well, and I'll make it the dark green. Okay, there you go. Okay, now everything is done. Oh, except, yeah, everything's done. We've got all, all of our cactus the right color. Everything over here. Now we need to do these, these flowers. Okay. Now you get to make some more decisions. I these this is going to be the flower um, that's going to go on the top of the cactus, but we also need to cover these these pineapples in the corner because that's not going to make any sense, is it? Now, if you would like to make two extra copies of this one, look, you would make them just a little bit bigger so they would cover everything, and you could put there. But the, these have a lot of little tiny pieces, and so they're, you know, complicated to build. So what I, what I did on mine and um, what you might want to do on yours, I just did two of these flowers in the same color. Okay, but first we're going to go into layers, and we're going to get rid of that middle. We don't need the middle. Okay, see this part right here, that darker pink? Now, all you have to do when you're in layers is go down here to the bottom of the layers and hit the light, hit the eye, and it's still there. It just isn't going to cut that, okay? So, 
first we're going to just the plain flour. We are going to do it, let's see, it is going to be 1.5. So we're going to go back into edit and we're going to put one point. Oh, uh, 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 I messed up and I'm not going to make let you mess up. Look, I had this unlocked. So you want to make sure it's locked. Okay, edit. You choose that and it's going to be 1.5. There we go. This is going to be the same size for both the flowers on top of the um, cactus and the flower that goes right here. Okay, so since we don't have any lines cut in them yet, which we're going to need for the top of the cactus, I'm going to go ahead and go to actions. I'm going to duplicate one flower out of there, duplicate another. Then I'm going to highlight both of them, go back to edit, and I'm going to change them into that same color. Now, if you would rather have these the same blue as the top of the cactus, then go for it. Okay, that's totally up to you. This is your thing. Now, these I made to be um, dark blue. If you look on the other, the baby shower um, one that I did, I did it a light blue because we knew it was going to be a boy. So, first, let's go ahead and change the color. Okay, because we're gonna these are all gonna be the same color and we're gonna change these to the dark blue. Of course, if you would rather do it pink or I don't care. It, it, it doesn't matter which one. Now we need to cut some. You see how all of these have little slits in them so so the stuff will go down and hook all together and close. Okay, we've got to do that with these flowers since we are changing this into a cactus instead of a um pineapple okay so you've got this line right here and we need to change it we can we'll leave the lock on because we're not going to need anything but the width needs to be 0 0.03 so we're going to make it really small 0 0.03 there we go just like that okay oh, i'm wrong i forgot i did change the length okay we're going to go into edit and unlock it for some reason and let's do mm, an inch there we go okay now I don't know if you don't know how to use the slice um how to use the slice with uh with this program guess what you get to learn something today yay um I'm going to duplicate this because I want to have one that that hasn't been used yet and so what we need to do is cut we're going to do, and I'm going to duplicate this too while we're here because we need to make two different kinds. On one, we're just going to have one slit. Okay, and you're going to go up, let's see, pretty high. Just so, it doesn't have to be exact. It's really, really, really forgiving. Okay, so you're going to go up just a little bit past middle. And then see that pink line? You want that yellow line to be in the, It's it, that pink line tells you whether you're in the very middle like that okay now what you're going to do is now you're going to highlight both of these you just drag your finger across and now if you see right down here next to weld and attach and all that you see that slice this is going to this is going to change your life right here it's highlighted because you have you can only have two images together to slice something okay so we're going to do our first slice we're going to hit slice once it turns green you know that it's done and then the easiest thing is just to move the flower out of the way. Look at that. You just made a hole out of your out of your um flower. Okay. And then we're gonna take these and delete them, which I just drug over because there's three or four different. And then we are going to we are we're gonna need two slits on this one. We're gonna duplicate, okay? One's gonna be for the top, one's gonna to be for the bottom. Since these are so thin, it's actually a lot easier just to move this, only they're, they're now, see how this is behind it? You we, And we need to see it better. When that happens, you gotta go back to edit, to arrange, and since the flower is highlighted, we wanna send it to the back, there we go, because we need to be able to see what we're doing. Okay, one of these, um, slices here is going to be even okay you see okay let me show you first on here it's going to be pretty much even with where those two 
where the three bottom petals right there, we're going to, sorry, that was my watch. Um, the three bottom petals right there, that's where you're going to put it. You're going to make sure that it's right in the middle. There we go, just like that. Drag it across, hit slice, boom, done. Look how easy that is. Isn't that cool? It's fun, too. Okay, and then this one is going to be a little bit long. Oh, see, I don't know why this wants to be behind it, but we're going to send it back to the back so we can see what we're doing. Okay, this one is going to be a little deeper. Okay, we're going to go down almost to the middle, right there. See like that? Only, look, you can see how they're not lined up, so it's obviously not in the middle. So let's go back and make sure. There we go. Oop. you got to have that pink line in the middle of the yellow line. Right there. Oop. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Maybe I've got it too. There we go. Just like that. Oh, now it's a little too long. I'm going to pull it back down a little bit. Right in the middle of the middle. Okay. Just like that. There we go. Okay, and we're going to highlight both of them. We're going to hit slice, and then we're going to move this out. Oop. There we go. And let me show you what happens. The reason that you highlight everything. Okay, you're going to delete. That's the part of the yellow line we didn't use. Then you delete. And there's the blue line that you just cut out. It's a lot easier just to drag your finger across. Now, there you go. Now you got your two flowers, but we need two copies of each. So this one, I'm going to duplicate. And this one, I'm going to duplicate. And boom, you're done. Your super cute card is so ready to cut. So let's, now all you've got to do is go cut out your card. Okay, you're going to hit make it. Everything can fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, so you're good to go. Go ahead, get everything cut out. And also, what I would do and what I did before we get to the craft table, go ahead and put all these three little little cactuses together. You know why? Because they're really tiny. They're really um, a little bit time consuming. And you don't need to watch me put these together. You just put the pieces together. It's really, really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and put my little cactus together. And then I will meet you over at the craft table. And we'll get this thing made. Okay, here we are on the desktop. Um, my first tip is I put everything separate on paper plates. I use them over and over and over again. Now, I told you when we were on the canvas, I was going to go ahead and put the um, all the little cactus together. You don't need to watch me do that. There's a bunch of little fiddly pieces, so um, it would just be a waste of your time. The glue I use is Art Glitter Glue. I buy the smaller thing with the tip and then the refill uh it'll be um there's a link in the description with those so first let's do the front of our card let me show you here is of course the start as a pineapple card you know that so here's the actual card base okay so of course we don't want the pineapple to show and this is going to go right here on top so you still have a blue border now, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, and I don't know if it showed up in the pictures, but the, I did scoring on all these like we did on the canvas, and I just wanted to have a little bit of a background pattern. And the same with these. The reason I did all of these in the same color is I more want the texture than I want a whole bunch of colors competing with the cactuses, okay? So, I mean, and that's totally up to you. If you'd rather do this with pen, just like we said on the on the canvas, then go for it, okay? So here is your frame. So let's get that done first. Make sure that you have the right sides to the right parts. You'll see that this up here is straight and this is a little bit angled, okay? And that will go up to the top, okay? So let's get those two glued together because we can't really put our letters on it until we get everything all glued right here. And we will not be attaching this front stuff to the card until we have the whole inside done. Why? Because if you mess up the inside, then you have to cut and put everything together again, including the front of the card. But if you don't glue it on until last, 
then you only have to remake the inside of the card, okay? And then this is just a, a backing for this, okay? So it doesn't have to be a certain um, um, spot or anything, just so it's covering up this empty hole here. Okay, so we're going to just throw it on here, make sure that there's nothing showing from the outside. Got a little bit of glue on there, not a big deal. Okay, the angled part is going to be up, but if you'd rather put the flat part up, that's up to you. This is your card. Now, we are going to put these little um, letters on here, and they're going to be in the middle, and but they're all going to be real close to the top. Now, I will kind of give you another hint on this. What I do, I always start because, you know, I'm not, I'm not that big on measuring and all that stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you this right here. Okay, just so I can show you the difference. If I was doing the sharp first i'd start with the a because it's right in the middle okay i always start in the middle of these of these words and then work out going either way and so this looking you've got you've got um three and three but this eye is super thin so it's not going to take up as much room so this o is going to go in the middle and a little tiny bit to the left now remember this is a handmade card it's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be exact. Okay, so I put a little bit of glue on here. We're gonna be, get it real close to the top. Now, if you opted to do this with a pen, then you just fast forward through this part. Okay, it's kind of in the middle with a little tiny bit to the left, and we're gonna put it way up at the top, you see that? Now, I'm gonna turn it, make sure that it's even. Okay, let's do the other O and the L. Okay, you don't need much glue on this. It's a card, so um, it's not gonna take a ton of wet wear and tear, but that's one of the reasons I like these little tiny tips on this glue, is because I'm able to just use a little tiny bit. Okay, there we go, just like that. Then we'll do the L, just a couple little pieces of glue here, nothing big. Here we go. Whoop. Let me grab it. It's hard. This is a little hard for me to do because I got long fingernails. So, okay, there we go. Move that out just a little bit. There we go. And nobody, you don't have to be perfect on this. Nobody's going to notice small things. Like, oh my goodness, your O is closer to the other O than it is to the K. Or, you know, any of that stuff. Don't worry about any of that. Nobody's going to pay that much attention. But they are going to be thrilled that they got a really cool handmade pop-up card from someone who loves them or cares about them. And of course, if you have a birthday friend who is a cactus fan, um, you can and you want to do it for their birthday, of course you can do that. Let me get this little eye kind of got bent while I was taking it off the canvas, so I am going to. Fix it a little bit, there we go, just like that. And then we have the N. So you can do, you can change this with a happy birthday. I mean, there's tons, you can do congratulations, you can do happy anniversary, you know, anything like that. This is a good generic one. You could do it for a thank you, or even a birthday, like a guy's birthday, guys, guys, cards are hard okay now we got the looking on now we need to do the sharp and again i'm going to start in the middle so i'm going to start with the a let's put a little bit of glue here and um the reason <laughs> that i even thought about changing this and i've probably already mentioned it um that i even thought about cha about changing this pineapple to a um to a cactus is my niece had a cactus baby shower. So I made the same card on the inside, but with a baby cactus on the front. And I, it should be posted here in the next week or so. So you can search for that on my channel. I'll link it up here. So, um, and probably at the end, 
but it's really cute. I have him um, under an umbrella with, uh, with a pacifier because he's in my son. If you haven't watched any of my other ones, you probably don't know that I have a special needs adult son. He goes, oh, look, a baby cactus. <laughs> so, and uh, so that's the reason that I even got the idea of changing the pineapple into a cactus. And I wanted, um, there we go. And one more, and then we are done here. Whoops. Make sure I got this going the right way. One more letter. This is one of the reasons why I told you to go ahead and put your um, put your cacti together because these little tiny pieces. Now, well, the good thing about this is it's great for using your scraps. Got tons of scraps, little bitty things. I kind of store them according to color because that's usually how I make my stuff. Look at that, there you go, right there. There's that, and your cactus, and your backing, so we're done with the front. And of course, I'm gonna tell you again, we're not gonna connect this until we're completely done on the inside. So, if we mess up, then um, we don't have to redo the whole front, too. Okay, here, and two, I wanted to show you this. Here are the insides of your card. Um, I'm not worried that it, that all the little triangles didn't come out because we're going to cover them up anyway. Okay, here they go. Then these two are going to, oh, I got them backwards. Okay, there we go. These two, they're going to, when we put, when we get it all glued in, this will be last though. You are going to meet these, the edges right here, and your slits are going to be this way. Okay, so we'll do that here in a minute. And then, I think we talked about this on the canvas, but I'm gonna show you right here. It all depends on how elaborate you want and how many of these little tiny cactus you wanna to put together. Okay, if you want these, this little one right here, if you wanna put two right here on either side, that would look really cute and go for it. If you don't want to put another little little tiny tiny cactus together, those these same flowers that we're gonna that we're gonna put on top of the um, cactus without the cutouts, um, you can make those the same color. So it's still not gonna be super flowery. You have to kind of move these around so you can so they don't they still cover the pineapple but they don't overlap your page. Okay, like that. And really, since they're the same color, they're just going to kind of blend in on the background. Okay? Or, you know, or you can sign on here or whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. So first, let's get these put on. Now, when you when they make these zigzags along, I and, and this is a pop-up, I like to make sure that I, that I glue right along these zigzags too, just because that's a weak spot. You're going to do all the way around the edges. Now, if we were making the pineapple card... I would tell you to be careful about putting glue in the middle on the front side because, hold on, let me get these. Nope, sorry, I put it too far down. I keep forgetting that this has a higher a higher edge on the on one side than the other. Okay, um, because you don't want glue showing through your pineapple, but we're covering all that up, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's do around the edges of this. And the most important part when you're putting the second part on is you want to match right here. And it doesn't matter. See how I've got a little bit higher and a little bit lower? Nobody's going to notice that. Doesn't matter. Now, if you're a perfectionist, you can, you can measure it all out and all that. Meh. Okay, now, but you do want to make sure that these are even across here. Okay. Okay, there we go. That is pretty straight, just like that. There we go. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and put the flowers in here. We just need to um, cover up the pineapple. If you want to put your little cacti, which I think are super cute, you can do that too. All I want to do is make these um, pineapples go away. Okay, 
So, um, by doing this the same color as the background paper, that just adds a little more texture. Same as why we did the frame in the front. Okay, there you go. Now, okay. And then of course, this front is gonna go here. So you're not gonna worry about the pineapple, okay? Now, let's let this dry. That's the reason I wanted to go ahead and get all of this made because we'll, we'll let it dry while we make the cactus. But, and I warn everybody who makes these cards, if you can, let it sit overnight, open. If you can't, at least a couple hours because you need time to make all sure all this glue dries. Number one, you don't want it to glue it inside the envelope and you don't want it to glue be glued shut because your glue wasn't dry. And speaking of envelope, let me show you this. This is not for this card, this is for a different card, but it's the same thing, it's just longer and thinner. Um, you cut these out, I, I, get the, I got a ream of this copy paper, it's 12 by 18 on Amazon. I'll have that link down in the uh, subscription, uh, description too, sorry. And you just fold it, glue it, and then when you do this, you can put a little piece of glue or a sticker or another one of these these flowers or, or another little cactus or whatever you want to do there. Okay, now, I know these pop-up cards look hard, but they're not. They're actually pretty easy. If you just go step by step, okay, now, let me show you these pieces. These and the flowers are gonna be last. So let's just do these pieces first, okay? Okay, now, you, you're gonna match, the, normally you're gonna match up the two things with the tabs, but this time we're not gonna do that. We're gonna match up each one that has the, the same pattern of slits. You see how these are all four on the top? These are three on the bottom and two on the top. And so that, we're gonna match those two up. And then the first two we're gonna start with is these with the little the little top to them, okay? So this long middle slot and this long middle slot, we're just gonna slide them in at right angles, just like this. You're gonna go like this and you're gonna do it till it all goes all the way to the top. There you go, you see that? See right there? Okay, now. Okay, then we are going to do this one with the three slits on the bottom, okay? And you are still, you're, again, you're gonna fold this up, and again, you're gonna use this middle slit, and you are gonna use this inside one here, okay? So you're gonna go like this, do the exact same thing we just did with the middles, okay? You're gonna slide that in just like that. There you go, you see that from the top. And then the one that matches it, oh, it's this one. We're gonna do the same thing opposite. You see, here's your tab, and we're just gonna do it on this side, okay? The same one, first slit, middle slit on this. So we're just going to put that in. Okay, there you go. So now, you've got those. Okay, now this one, these need to go at, we need one sticking out this way and one sticking out this way. So we've already got, whoops, we've already got this one on there. So this one is gonna go right here, okay? But these go from the bottom. You see how the, all their slits are at the top? So first, we're gonna pick this up and see all these slits, there's three of them on each one, then that's where we're gonna go and we're gonna do these three middle slits, okay? so. Now, now it'll, it'll take you a minute to get all these lined up, okay? Because you've got to do all three at the same time. So just one by one, get them matched up. There's those, let's get this one. And if the other ones that you already have done kind of get misaligned, it's okay, we can, we can fix that as soon as you get them all in. There we go, just like that. Okay, and you see, here's one. Okay, let me show you the bottom. See, these little slits are kind of right angles to each other, okay? And now we need to do the same thing on this side, on the opposite. That's the side we just did, and so we're gonna go opposite. We're gonna do the exact same thing with this piece. Oops, now see, you know you're doing it right when it when it when when you can fold it and it's flattened. Because of course it has to fold flat for it to fold up and go into the envelope. Okay, again, the middle three slits, 
go into these. So you just kind of fiddle with them until you get them to where they all meet. There you go, just like that. Now, here's the bottom. You got these four squares, okay? And here it is from the top, okay? And boom, you're almost done. Now, this is really simple. These are all exactly the same, okay? And they're gonna go on, on each side in these last little slits that are left. So you see these got three slots and you see there's three slots right here. So you're just gonna slide these in on, on each side. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now these might be a little touchier because they've got those um, the spines for the cactus on them. So they may catch here and there a little bit more but you're just gonna keep pushing it down until it stops. There you go, just like that, see? Now, oh, this one got a little out of line, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna do this next one. And we're just gonna slide it right in, these last three slits on every side. We're gonna do the exact same thing on each one. Okay, mm. let me get this in here, there we go. There we go, just like that. There we go, now we're gonna do it two more times. So, and you are almost done with your cactus. See, I told you it wasn't hard. There, that one went in easy because they're already spaced out and everything for you. Okay, we're gonna do the last one here. Okay, there we go, and you're gonna slide it all the way down. And there you go, look at that. Here's Here it is from the top. Look, isn't that cool? Here it is from the bottom, and there's your two slits. Now watch this, see? You know you did it right if it's going to flatten, okay? So there you go, look at that. That is super cool, isn't it? Okay, now our last thing is our flowers. And what we are going to do, the reason we made two of each is because we're gonna cover this little spiky thing, okay? So, so you've got these two and these two. These, um, first you're going to put these two together like this, match them up, and of course match these up. You want the longer slits matched up because they're gonna go, the shorter slits on, oh wait, here, let me show you on these flowers while I'm getting them lined up. Okay, one of these has a shorter slit and one has a longer, okay? The shorter is going down, it's gonna connect to this. The longer is going to slide in with this, okay? And we may end up having to, um, to make it easier for you, we may end up having to do these one by one, but I'm gonna see if we can, okay, so we've got two of each flower, just like that, okay? Now, we are gonna slide it over here, and for me, it's easier for me to do these one at a time, just so I can um, I can cover up the, the green spikes. So, I will do this, then I will come around and do the exact same thing because I am going to cover up the spike. See, like that? Okay, you see how that is? Okay, so now that you see it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it together just a little tiny bit so it'll come stay together, okay? Because this one is okay to glue um, because it doesn't have to move to, to work on the card. Okay, just make sure you get this long slit glued to the short one. Okay, and now we're gonna do this again. It's easier. These two aren't connected, but these, but this is all one piece right here, so it's easier to slide it into here. Okay, so you're just gonna slide it. Don't worry about the little pieces because we'll fix those here in a minute. You just wanna make sure that it slides down in the middle. Okay, there we go, just like that. Whoops, 
I didn't get it right. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's easier to do it in two pieces separate. Okay, I'm gonna get these open a little bit, see, like that. So I make sure that I am getting it right in where I want it. Okay, just like that, see? Okay, oh, yeah, this side needs to come out. There we go. Okay, see how you've got this piece sticking out and this piece sticking out, and then, but you've got it all the way down there. Okay, and you see where it doesn't need to move when it folds. So now I'm gonna stick a little tiny bit of glue kind of up under the flower so it stays where it's at. But you don't you don't have to do this, it'll, it'll stay. Just because it's easier when I'm showing you. Okay, now these two flowers, of course, are gonna go oh, from the top. And we're all, and we're gonna we're gonna hide these other two things. So let's go in. We're gonna do these kind of one at a time. Okay. So you see how it's now hidden those the green things. And now look over here on this side. There they are. And we're gonna hide them again. So if you'd like, you can put two little pieces of glue right here. So it will um, glue them together once we get them in there. And then you're just gonna slide it, just like you did a second ago, just like that. But you're gonna make sure that you cover those green spiky things, the spiky parts, but it's still gotta go into the slot. There you go, just like that. Boom. You see? There you go, look at that. Look how cute that is. Looks just like a cactus. Okay, now we are getting close to the end. Look, you are almost done. And look what a great job you're doing. Okay, whoop, I have mine. Nope, I had it right. Okay, you want your two pieces and you see these slits, you want them to go like this. Okay, just like that. And if you get it backwards, you can turn it around before we glue it onto the card. Okay, now, and these two little tabs are gonna go into these two little slots. Okay, we're gonna do it one at a time. Okay, so here it is, just like this, so you don't get confused. Okay, so let me show you from this angle. I'm gonna get it going, and then I'll show you from the back too, okay? There we go. Now, these are a good, tight fit. So, for me, it's easier to come back over here, but you gotta make sure that you're at the right angle, okay? So you're gonna go just like this, and then you want it to go all the way to the fold. So it fits nice and tight in there. You see that? Okay. And you know it's it's facing the right way because of course that's the only way it can. And then you're gonna glue it going out towards the these leaves out here. Okay. So, and we'll glue the tabs really, really good once we, um, once we glue it down inside the card. Okay, now this one you can see it's gonna match up with this, and it's and it's the right angle for the slit, okay? So let's see if I can do this while holding on to the cactus. I probably won't be able to, but can, because I don't think I can get a good enough grip on it. So we are gonna get this, there we go, see it, see? Then I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna pull this all the way down to the fold. You want it to go, it's gonna pop up better as if it's way down at the fold, just like that, you see that? Okay, so let's throw some glue underneath there real quick. That's one of the things I like about this glue. It dries really fast. Okay, now look, there we go. Look, that's gonna fold just like that when it's inside your card. And then when you open it, it's gonna do that. Okay, so we've got it good and glued back there. Now, all we gotta do is put it in here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna match, you're gonna match these two edges to these two edges of the of the white paper, okay? Now, you're gonna kinda eyeball it, make sure you get it sort of in the middle, you know? So you kind of, and I always dry fit everything. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna, we're, we haven't put any glue or anything on it. We're just looking to kinda see where we want it to be. Then we're gonna glue it really good. Uh, too many, too much glue, I get it all. Okay, so. I got it turned around. 
it really doesn't matter which way. Yeah, I like it this way. I like it where the tabs point out like this, okay? So, but that's up to you. It's your card, you can do whatever you want. So we're only gonna do one side here and we're gonna put some glue on the leaf fronds. This is the one that's gonna have the most um, force on it or wear and tear or whatever you wanna call it because it's what's gonna make it pop up and fold down. So you wanna make sure you get some pretty good glue. Now remember, we are gonna match this, and we're only doing one side, we are gonna match this to the edge of the white paper. I hope you can see that. Where are we? Here we go. Okay, so you're gonna put it in the middle and then you're gonna match blue to the, ed the edge of the blue to the edge of the white, just like that. See? You see how that goes? And then you'll see, this is how it's going to fold once it, once it, um, and you see how you've got a gap here, which is the gap with your thing. So let's, um, let's put the glue on this one. Okay. And we're going to do the same. We're going to get it on all the little leaves just so when it's doing its work of pop, making it, making the cactus pop up and down, it's got good hold on the background paper. Okay, there we go. Okay, and again, you're gonna match up the edge, you know, where across here, across here, so it kind of looks like a real circle, okay? So, I am going to make sure, see how this, you want it, you know, not exact, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but you, you know, you kind of want it to, so it looks like it's one big circle, right? Okay, and then we're not gonna leave it closed, but we're gonna check it. Okay, there we go. Look, look at that. There you go, look at that. Look how cute it is. You, the inside's done. Look, and you can write on here, you know, thank you, sign, love, you know, or congratulations, or uh, we love you, Dad, for Happy Father's Day, or any of that stuff, okay? So now, we know we've got everything ready for the front, and we didn't mess anything up on the inside, right? So, I want to make sure, yeah, I got it good. There we go. So, now, we are going to do the inside, the outside, okay, the front. And this one, you, you want to do the best of your ability to have this even, the blue even all the way around. So let's let's dry fit it if, and now this is what I sometimes do if I'm not real confident that I'm going to get it in the middle before I glue it. Oh, I just moved it, didn't I? I'll get it pretty much where I want and then just lift it up and start throwing some glue on here. Again, it's just the front of your card. It's not gonna, you know, it's not like the inside where it's gonna get wear and tear and stuff. There we go, and this side. Okay, there we go. Now you gotta make sure that you're right side up. There's your flowers, or if you put your little, if you use the little cactus, you can use those. But you see how these just kind of disappear? You don't even really see them because everybody's busy looking at your really cool cactus. Okay, now. This, there's a few ways you can do this, and this is your choice. This was just what I chose, okay? You can make it go down here. Say so we're gonna do this, and this, and this, okay? You can even do it way down here in this corner. You can do it way up here in this corner, but I kinda liked it sort of in the middle. Okay, I did it a little up and a little over because that balanced out the little cactus. Okay, so make sure that you've got it good and, on here good and straight. That's one good thing about all these lines you've got on here. It makes it easy to make sure that you've got it straight. And we're going to run some glue around here. There we go. I'm going to... You have to look at the bottom of this frame, and I'm gonna look at it here real quick because this is straight and this isn't, right? 
Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit up here and along these little things and make sure that if you get some glue on it, if you're using this glue, it doesn't matter. It dries clear. You're not going to see it. You may get some little pieces. When I get a bunch of glue on my fingers, I tend to get a bunch of pieces. Now, we'll start with the larger um, cactus. Whoop. Look, this little corner sticking out. And I, since I'm putting the cactus on top, I want it good and put down on the paper. Okay. So, here we go. I got a little bit of glue on this guy, which you can usually just rub right off. Okay. Now, if you want, you can go back and look at the thumbnail or whatever I've got. But I, I kind of did it about right there. But dry, again, we're going to dry fit these. I'm going to always dry fit them to make sure that I've got them where I want them and where it looks, where I think it looks good. Okay. Kind of like that. Okay. So let's take these guys off. Let's put this guy on. There we go. And let's put him about right there. And then this guy goes next. Oops, I bent one of his spines. Gotta make sure all of his spines are straight. Here we go. And I don't wanna put all of these lined up like they're sitting on a shelf. I want them in three different levels. So the bottom of this pot's gonna be lower than this one. You know, about right there. Okay, uh-oh, that little spine is bent. Make sure all your little spinies are straight. Okay, and then this one's going to be go even lower. And that's just kind of a design thing. You know, you don't want it straight across. Okay, not a lot lower, just a little bit, and a little bit over here to the left, like that. There you go. Look at that! You're done! Look at that cool card that you made. How fun is that? See? You did a great job. I'm really proud of you.